Greetings everyone, here is Lodrick and this is the game War in the Pacific Admiral's Edition in our match against Dojo. We are now at the 16th January 1942 and this is the after action report and setup turn. In the last battle we had uh, more or less no real navy engagement, a little submarine action and one of our destroyer fleets near New Caledonia picked up some small cargo ships. We had some uh, air battles. We can check again the, the kill ratio for our fighters was good. This is more or less our 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 fighters uh, can kill easily and outmatch the dojos guys but this turn we suffer from our attempt to bomb uh, the port of Singapore and maybe also some, some additional losses in China we can check this again shortly we see this, this is uh, his fighters we had three ops losses uh, this is a little unlucky, but uh, better you lose the uh, airframe and not the pilot. And uh, three bombers, and the rest is uh, yeah, ops losses. Ops losses was uh, relative high, so this is, is the reason why this turn Dojo had the first time, I think, less air losses than the Japanese. But again, for me, it is more to see this. And there we can see we lost six pilots. Uh, but we know at least three are bombers. And one is a fighter. And two more, I don't know. You can normally check this, but I never do this uh, in, uh, in this... Uh, Operational reports. I think there you can find uh, where which guy gets killed and if the pilot is lost. You can check this all if you want. There's also this. Uh, this is the intelligence report, but again for the Japanese, this is uh, too less too to really have a use so I normally never check it for the Americans it makes maybe more sense but yeah from San Francisco and Melbourne you know, heavy transmission yeah but I don't know I will never base any strike based on this information this is far too no this is nothing you have this uh, combat, re uh, but I think here you don't get information if a pilot gets killed. Uh, because here you only get information that uh, this is the normal what we have. This is uh, the combat reports and all together. You can read them here again. This is what we normally always get after every battle. So if then you must find it here. And here we can see that uh, here is a these are the three uh, zeros written off written off written off so this unit lost three zeros they get damage and uh, yeah you lost the airframe but not the pilot Let's see if there's also uh, normally somewhere you must get the information that the pilot gets killed I don't see it so. Hmm, maybe I miss it. Because this is the 14th. Crash. Here's also crash landing. Here you get a, this guy get a kill, the second kill, the third kill. Hmm. Or maybe here. Crash landing, crash landing, and kills again. 
Hier ist er. Pilots get killed at the landing accident. Okay. And here gets uh, killed also a landing accident. So this is all... Maybe the airplane was damaged already. But this can also happen by... I mean, there's always a small chance that there's an accident happening. And then you get... You lose the airframe and in this case additional not only the airframe, you also lost the pilot. So this is a bomber pilot. And uh, key 15 I think is a scout plane is also lost. So these are two pilots. Uh, must be somewhere more. Mm, yeah, okay, so at least this two we know. And uh, if you want you can check this but for me it's at the end it's information but I can it will not change the course of the war. If the pilot is dead, then the pilot is dead. I have for me, this is a pure information without anything I can do. I can only say sorry. Yeah, you are dead. But uh, more or less, I would only care pilots if they are maybe here, like this guy. He gets killed in action, and he had three kills. Okay, then he show up here. Uh, but even then, yeah. This is totally normal in the war that uh, some people are getting missing, uh, the missing, he's missing in action, killed in action, or wounded in action. But I think so far we have only killed in mission in action. Mission in action. These are all elite pilots. Uh, we still have, uh, I mean, we have still some aces, but uh, only one active ace. But. Not so bad. I mean, if we check the the total loss of pilots now, roughly 150 are killed, 25 are more or less wounded, but they will come come slowly back. But I think, I mean, uh, we get new wounded and some are coming back, so this number maybe will not change much. And the mission, this also will go up because uh, we only get uh, very few from this uh, missing pilots back. Um, but so far we can say we lost roughly 200 pilots and uh, we lost uh, three, uh, these are points, the problem is points, these are based on engines. Uh, so a fighter with one engine is one point, a twin engine is two points and a four engine uh, is four points. So we only see the points, so not the planes. Of course, we can now check the total. I need this total. Maybe this is interesting for some guys. Uh, what we killed so far in total numbers. Um, you, oh, you can see this and. Uh, the most important is normally we kill a lot of buffaloes and these are also buffaloes so the first two are roughly 135 uh, buffalo fighters and we lost 50 zeros and we lost also 50 nail bombers these are the big uh, numbers this together nearly 100 here are 45 uh, flying tigers 38 again warhawks wildebeest I-15s. So you can see if you see the first numbers, then we can see that uh, we normally suffer only zeros and we suffer a lot of nails. And here's the Betty's with uh, 30. It's also Navy bombers. And then the numbers getting smaller and smaller and smaller already. And we can also see that we shut uh, down a lot of his fighters. Because if we see the buffaloes, 75 plus 60, let's say 130, uh, 180, 220 roughly, 250, yeah, this we sunk, but 280, 310. So at least 310 and a little more. Uh, we, 
We killed a lot of his fighter forces. Maybe not so many bombers, but a lot of his fighter forces are destroyed. And this is most important maybe for a Japanese fighter uh, player that he can uh, reduce the allied fighter wings so that uh, you can operate your torpedo bombers, your dive bombers and your level bombers more safe without interdicting. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is the overall situation and I think, I mean, the navy was not really much, we had this. The two guys in Nomaya and this one in Gwangu and so nearly no navy action at all. And, uh, yeah. The land battle was successful. So this is already the finished setup turn, so everything is done. We driving back this uh, army still back to source and uh, then uh, if we arrive in Hanko we will normally drive them north to interdict this army here there's normally a second army somewhere here but we don't have no recon so we drive them this is not changing we won this battle we kicked dojo back to the east still 70,000 out here um, I don't care them because they are trapped more or less they don't have uh, supplies we control all this road and there's no way he get the normally supplies so we moving more or less uh, the main force to the west to finish the 30,000 guys I also send a small detachment to the source to have a unit in the hex to make sure that the, the road is ours I also will keep one unit here to make sure that this hex is ours so that we have a, a, a safe protected supply line from Nanking, Shanghai where is the main here are the here are 40,000 supplies and also in Shanghai we have uh, nearly 100,000 supplies so these are our supply hubs and uh, based and then normally the units will request supplies and then we will ship them out and this is automatically of course so we only must make sure that this street is free because this is our main supply street for this operation. And the other oper supply line is like this. So our engagement here was successful. We killed him, Dojos, or we kick him back that he don't can block this street and now we only, yeah, we will regroup here. And then we will see for more. Our battle here was also successful, east of uh, Xi'an, now we have to rest. I always like to rest at least one turn after the battle to give the units always time to recover. Fatigue 11 is still not so big but disruption 33% is uh, normally too high to really... It will be a waste to push this units again in the next battle. Yeah, of course you can say Dojo's forces also are now mm, suffering, uh, but uh, I don't think that the units we kicked here out are important. Important is what is already here and what is coming here. Yeah, you can see there's more Chinese units. They will normally try to, I think, uh, go back to Xi'an and uh, support this army. So before I strike Xi'an, I want to uh, give this unit one or even two turns rest and nothing more here happened we still are normally we are in good shape we are only a little out of supplies but normally you can see we need normally 13,000 but we only have 9,000 but our units have still some supplies in stock so they are not really suffering and next turn normally will have uh, I think uh, enough supplies because we control now this hex and there's normally a road you can see the road go completely so we will get the supplies from our main base here and this go all back to Shanghai or Beijing so normally big issue this is normally fine and the unit itself have uh, uh, if you can see the you can this units are all normally not ready to strike Normally fatigue and disruption must be under 10. 6 and 4 is okay. But all over 10 I would say uh, better let them rest. If you have the opportunity. I mean 
uh, if you have the chance to rest your unit, then better give them time to prepare. Also, these units are normally, we can check here, they're still preparing for Sian. They are not at 100%. If you, this is more or less a preparation of the battlefield. If you have a preparation of 100, then you get, I think, a bonus. Or maybe, a, the, the greater the number, the, the greater your bonus. So, of course, uh, but you only can get 1 or 2 percent, I think, per day bonus. So, I don't want to wait here now 10 days or 10 turns to only get this uh, bonus to maximum. It's uh, more important for um, amphibious uh, assaults if you try to conquer an island and there's a hmm, the, 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 I mean, the resistance is strong, then I would maybe say, yeah, better finish your preparation. But the Japanese, but only the Japanese, have this uh, amphibious attack bonus at the beginning of the war. The December, January, February, March, and I think also included April, the Japanese player get a, a big booster for amphibious assault actions. This is why normally up to end of April I would always uh, not use uh, transportation of units. I would always make a assault, amphibious assault, because in the first months it's much quicker. And uh, if you control a base you normally also don't suffer any losses. You only suffer losses if you are not the owner of a base and you want to lend. But if you control the base then it's more or less the same. And it's really fast for the Japanese. But only up to April. Means in latest May this is over. This also means and this is why you have uh, this uh, ticking clock up to end of April you must try to conquer everything what is really important. After April it is not more possible to strike so fast and so easily. It's still possible, of course, but uh, you will need uh, more preparation time. You really must then prepare to 100% or you will suffer much higher losses. And uh, you need much more time to unload your equipment. And it means if you have only a small detachment landing at the first day and the enemy is much stronger, then he can normally try to uh, yeah, f yeah, kick you back in the ocean. And you know, this is uh, then normally units will easy and very fast surrender. Yeah, but okay. What we see here is maybe interesting. Dojo really choose to move all his uh, units out of the city, and I think he tried to make a mm, attempt to attack uh, our units here in Kukong. And uh, we have here really not much. It's a, it's not nothing, but it's not much. But we can luckily say here's a second unit coming, and this has much more power. Uh, go away. 200 and so we have roughly 250 because this unit also uh, is already on the way latest at the end of the turn you I mean we will arrive in the city maybe Dojo also will arrive in the city but first next turn he can start the attack and uh, this means uh, we have here 250 assault or defense power and then he must strike us and because he moved everything out because I have here 9 out of 10 detachments, so I know everything what is, and here is nothing left. I can use my my mobile units, and they are really fast, to move inside the city. Means I will normally take the city and cut him from any supplies, because so far he normally can take supplies like this road. This road is now here blocked, we won here the battle. And destroy the last of his units. Now they are all destroyed. And in three months, all these destroyed units will arrive here in Chongqing with 25% of the uh, unit value. So 25% he get more or less for free. 
and the rest of the unit he must uh, rebuild with reinforcement. Normally the Chinese they don't have a problem with units, normal rifle units, but everything what is equipment, anti-tank, anti-air, support, trucks, heavy machine guns, assault guns, all this stuff uh, is for the Chinese much more complicated to produce. Um, but uh, the ordinary rifle guy, that is not a big problem. It needs only time. So, but uh, we destroy this unit, so we have three months normally. Uh, yeah, well, we have, yeah, Dojo must wait now three months and hold the line for three months to get all these units back. Um, but yeah, okay, we take the, we will take this city, this is only a small, I mean, recon detachment is not strong enough normally to hold the city, we only will go here in, take the city, and then maybe I drive north to take this small base, because if this mobile unit can also take this base, then he has really no supplies more coming. I mean, we already will take the city, then this unit is cut off. But normally, you can see the flow of this uh, supplies will be like this so far. Still, I mean, now this is blocked. But if we move here, then this road will be open to get here supplies again. But if we walk here north, take this space, then there's really no way more. So I really use only some small block units similar to this Chinese mm. unit. They are not really good for fighting, but they are good for blocking a major road so that the supplies are not running, so he's starving. Again, if you can starve out an enemy, you need only some time, but turn by turn he gets weaker. So I don't must push for the battle, I mean, with maximum, I will try to balance. My first goal is cuts his supply lines. Second goal is bring enough armies in one hex to have the superior fighting forces to crush him easy without that I suffer or that my units will suffer too much. This is also the reason why in this Wushu I now go back to defense. This unit is not strong enough to take the city but it will bind his forces here so he must keep this units here or if he run out then I will take the city and at the same time I can bring this two units here 100 and uh, let's say 250 together they will walk now and they, of course this needs one week or more because this is only a small road but we try to bring this forces here to take the city and then we can take the pass to stay here and then he must choose we, I will choose the city with less defense and then I will strike. We can normally also try to catch this unit but uh, there are only 2000 guys. I think I can still use my air force to bomb this unit so I don't even try to catch this unit more. I want focus for the city. This is not really so important but important is to come here to threaten him. To let him choose, he tried to defend both cities. Or he give up one city and then I take the other one. I'm, or he's strong enough really to defend both cities but then still my units will uh, keep him busy here and what the units are busy here cannot fight in the east. Yeah, not much more happen here. We trill the Mongolian forces are on the way, we are waiting here, we still try to group up. Also Yenan. These forces are still in, uh, oops, in rest mode. We are waiting for our last uh, brigade to arrive because they belong to the same HQ and yeah, one or two turns more uh, faster or later. It's not important. I won't stay. They, I won't let them stay together. So this is North Chinese army. And these are all North Chinese army groups. Yeah, not more here normally to say about China. You saw our fighters uh, sweeping the enemy airspace so that our bombers can still fight and fight and fight and fight. 
And uh, yeah, here we get some information. There's one fighter left, but I don't know. This is really the last guy. Maybe, maybe not. You can never know everything. So even if you send a lot of recon out, they will not give you 100% information. I still think that Zen Yenan also is something. And maybe no scout fly because we don't have a... Here we get a detection of 9 out of 10. So this is near maximum. Yenan has nothing. Ah, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, I think this will be no real big issue. Day by day, we cut the Chinese forces down and uh, uh, be successful in the end. Maybe important is only that uh, because these are 35,000 and even I'm, I mean, I normally think this is enough. Still, I drive this unit down because uh, the options I have is uh, attack here, but I don't have information, I don't want to risk it. And I think that Dojo have here more. So far I only see 6 units, but I don't know what. I can go east. But uh, if I go here east, and he comes source, and he can take the city, then I may be a little in trouble. So I will take now, or choose a safe choice. My, this way, so I drive this unit source to support the city. If I lose the city, this army will normally retake the city. If we cannot take the city, this army is strong enough to destroy his unit. Especially after he lost his base. Because he will run out of supply immediately. So, this is China. Nothing more. Yeah. I activate a, a second sweep. Last turn was uh, rest. Now my units are more or less ready to strike again, but only sweeping. Bomber are still waiting. So we running already a little on the we running on the maximum. This is normally already too much. Uh, but uh, let's check here. Um, I don't think we will get next turn the the next level of airfield. You can see here's a star. The star means more or less that the airport is crowded. Uh, but like I said, this is the old turn. Normally you can better say, uh, uh, use one unit less to strike. Like if I, now we are now 194. If I take this unit back to training, then we are already 186, so I must reduce the one sweep again. So let's take uh, the B class training. Oh, oh, this was maybe training away. Ah, uh, still not enough. Okay. Uh, this guy is also sweep. Also sweep. Also training. Also training. Now 160. Ah, still not enough. So, I, if we go maybe to... Stand down this completely? No, this will... I think training will not consume the... This will normally not consume points. So you can always stand down or training will not uh, affect this... Uh, stack level this is more or less really only airplanes going out for active duty but if we reduce this one then we are already 132 so uh, you can try normally it's better to have these numbers not red so it means don't overstack but uh, on the other hand, you will have maybe higher operational losses. But uh, in this case, I more or less send all fighters out again to have the numbers. To simply crash them by force. It's maybe not the best efficiency level, but in this case, I choose. I want it now done. I want him crash in short time. So 
that uh, he must choose if we bring immediately a lot of reinforcements if we want to try to hold this or that most of his fighters are maybe not destroyed but grounded and need repair and if I see most of his fighters are grounded then I can start uh, the bombardment then I will use level bombers to attack the airfields and uh, once I start this I will not uh, then I mean and it needs some time to destroy airport normally must attack every day because they dojo try to repair and I try to damage and this is an ongoing non-stop fight it's only the question he have more engineers to fix the damage or I have more bombers to uh, destroy the, the one way and the installation stuff yeah not much more happened here Uh, this uh, our only to show you the the cruisers are still in repair. Uh, we waiting for repair ships. I sent a repair ship on the way, so so far I keep them here. Uh, I don't think the dojo will come with any big uh, navy stuff. Firstly, first normally he don't know where is our cruisers. Maybe he think. Maybe Dojo believes that all cruisers are dead and what is dead he will not try to find. And he's maybe also scared about our present. I try to give pressure. And I also have here some submarines still. So we will see. We will see. And our carrier fleet is uh, also in Georgetown and try to fix some repair stuff. Uh, it's the same. They all a little damage. We can make here a little... Uh, PSI damage, everything what is not major we can fix here. Isn't not the best efficiency, but uh, I also have no torpedoes. The port is too small to to reload our torpedoes. So at the end I will keep the second carrier fleet uh, in Georgetown and finish the repair, and I wait that we conquer Singapore. Still some units are on the way, but next turn they will arrive here in Singapore. So, and uh, this is, I think, I missed this, or I don't know why, but uh, this guy needs three days to prepare. He was in, uh, he was in strategic mode, or strategic move mode. And now I change him back to rest and train to prepare for Singapore. But he needs three days, so next turn he's still not ready. So next turn this guy's arrive. And after that we need one turn more to be ready to move in Singapore. So we need one, two turns to start the move. And we will need, because we have to go in combat mode to Singapore, need also two turns to arrive in Singapore. So in four turns we will arrive in Singapore roughly. So this is Singapore, nothing more here happened, the subs have, here's I think not more much naval activity, I keep my subs here, around, so, and they all have no detection, so I think, uh, Dojo don't know where they are, at least I hope so, but uh, I saw no activity more, so, most important is, everything what he produced on Java, all the oil, he cannot carry out, so, uh, if I conquer later, later Java, I can make a nice, uh, yeah, I can, I mean, I can capture all the oil, all the minerals, all the resources, maybe not the supplies, the supplies he maybe burn, but, uh, most important for me is the oil. And if he cannot carry it out, he can never consume the oil, so... Time is with us. Yeah. These are also additional forces. Uh, these are the special landing units. They all will group up here. And then uh, I already sent some minesweepers, local minesweepers out to prepare. And next turn we also will start our invasion fleet. So maybe next next turn we can have the assault on Bali Papang. Uh, here we need the oil and the refineries. This will help us in the long term. Not immediately, but 
If this war will continue to 43, we need all these facilities to produce more oils. So far we are running out of fuel. We are consuming much more fuel than we can ever produce with our uh, equipment in Japan. Uh, and uh, I think our forces in uh, Clarkfield will start now next turn. So I prepare the attack on Clarkfield. The next battle phase will be where well, we will see the first battle of Clarkfield and I hope it's also the last battle of Clarkfield. Oh, I mean we kicked him out of Manila. He tried to kick out kick us out of Clarkfield but his attempt failed. And now we try to get rid of him. To push him back to Bataan and uh, clear up the last big um, force of resistance in Manila. The rest of the Philippines are starving out because I can check here with my scout planes. No, not this. No, not this. Ah, it's set. We normally scouting here with long range uh, naval scouts and they have a very high efficiency in skills. So everything what is coming here I would normally detect. Uh, so I don't believe that any supply ships, also I run here a lot of uh, cruisers and destroyer formations and battleship formations and they never pick anything up. We only pick up here some torpedo boats like stuff. So I think Dojo give up to run anything inside to support the Philippine forces. So I can let them starve out. Sooner or later I must take it, but priority is Clarkfield and after this Bataan. So here's nothing happened. This is our yeah, destroyer force was not successful. They try to find here something, but we don't have the range. I can operate. Uh, I mean, it's not possible for me to go more source. This destroyer, they, on the light cruiser, they only can go here, check this this area if there's something. But okay, was not a was a failure. But it's not a big deal. You must always send your units out, and most of times they will find nothing. But sometimes they are lucky. But I have this uh, second, this is a battle fleet, I mean, two Fuso class battleships, this is the original Fuso and this is also a Fuso class battleship, I always try to have the same type together. Uh, and they will operate and they take over more or less. The destroyers was not successful and now I will send the battleships here, maybe they can find something and they have much more range. I will maybe drive them also down to Perth. This will be the maximum range of this, this battleship group. I am not sure if they really can go so far, but uh, at least I can try to... Yeah, this area I can maybe cover with them. And if I'm lucky I can also go to Perth. Maybe we'll find something there. Normally Perth is important because everything from uh, Cup Town will go to Perth. So here will be a lot of traffic, but we only have the choice normally to at least maybe go in, but must also ret we also have to return quickly. I don't know how much air force we have here in Perth and uh, uh, battleships and torpedo bombers, uh, they don't like each other. So this is, uh, and here we know we only capture some islands or some bases here, nothing really big happened and also this force is still preparing. End of the month I won't take uh, Port Moresby but uh, not now. I still have to carry a lot of base forces from Truk to Rabul and also from Tokyo, Japan, there's a lot of coming, we still need to, I bring first everything to Rabul. I first have won't have a uh, Rabul finish port seven airfield seven, and uh, also takes these two bases to Lagi and Shortlands. 
and more or less if I take these two bases I take also a post mostly so these three bases must get all port 4 airfield 4 yeah not much more happened here yeah yeah the submarines I bring them all more to the west coast of America to California to get more distance but this needs also one or two more turns this was a unit or a submarine he he get some depth 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 charges deep deep charges depth charges on it but we suffer some system damage and also flotation damage uh, so we are not so sure if we really can reach the base but I hope it's not it's not critical but it's uh, the really the maximum the submarine can suffer much more I think uh, one more hit and maybe we are dead so we was lucky still the speed is acceptable with 12 it's not too slow so uh, we have still a long this a way a long way to go but uh, uh, it's not impossible yeah yeah not much more here to say we can maybe here is the forces this, uh, this was this other destroyer group was uh, successful in sinking two of his light cargo ships in Omaya uh, but they are running you can see very low on fuel so I only can try to check these two small islands maybe there's something and then I have to go back I choose this way because the other option would be to go east of Fiji Suva but not much more I think uh, this is the maximum range for this unit but I say no I only go check this uh, normally small very small islands and uh, because I have here the carrier and I drive the carrier more or less between yeah between Savi and uh, Nadi because I, the problem is that I of course a range this is my fi my final destination uh, I have a range of seven with the torpedo bombers and the range of six of my uh, dive bombers. Uh, normally, I will end up, I think, like here. So I will be in range of Suva, but I will not be. I cannot take this basis. Uh, it was a choice. I can go more east to strike here. Or I can go more west to strike uh, the Fiji Islands. Uh, uh, you never know. I don't have any recon here, so I don't know. I only say I go in and then I turn west. I don't know what he have, what Dojo have prepared here. I don't know, maybe he have already some air force or strike forces on the islands because it's possible for him uh, so I don't want to risk too much I have here full uh, four um, fleet carriers they have of course normally enough fighting power 250 airplanes uh, uh, but this is my room at the end uh, this is what I want risk and if we are lucky we find here something because normally there's a lot of traffic and if we find nothing, ah, okay, then this was a useless attempt. Last time the carrier force also found not much, but maybe we are this time a little more lucky. This is normally the big, big event that we go here in and maybe find something. And the destroyers, they can uh, check the bases, but they are. 
the destroyers are not strong enough to really go close to Australian coast. These destroyers are too easy to get picked up by enemy cruisers. And uh, the problem is uh, if the destroyers get hit here so far away from my base, uh, then it's really this the, the distance is too far. It's too far away from my next base. If anything gets damaged here, it's more or less lost. Oh yeah, okay. What else? I think this is all what I have prepared. Yeah, the battleship group go here. Check west of Australia. The carriers go to Fiji. The second carrier fleet is repairing. We prepare the assault on Bali Papan. Uh, in three four turns we are ready for Singapore. Next turn we will strike Clarkfield. This will be a big engagement. And in China it's uh, every day some smaller battle. Yeah. Yeah. This is so far the situation. So uh, maybe the time of uh, fast strikes day by day are now a little over. Uh, the distance is more is more far now. It's uh, I need more time to regroup to prepare. So we don't will we will not see every turn a big 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 fight. But we will see next turn also the second sweep of Rangoon. So we will have a lot of. If I mean, if Dojo try to defend the air space of Rangoon and Burma, then we will have here a lot of dogfights. Yeah, uh, if not, then we sweep for nothing. But at least we must try. We must make sure that our bomber forces can strike Rangoon airfield without much resistance. I never can sweep 100% but I must get the number 10 fighters I can see here so far at least 10 fighters this is maybe I can already start the bomber but the problem is really the airport is too small to really operate a bomber com uh, campaign I already now uh, overburden the airport I won't normally wait with the bombers at least to have a level 4 each level will give you 50 more airplanes to operate from an airport. So now we are at 150 and if we have a level 4 then it's a 200 and so on and so on. Here in uh, Bangkok we have already 250. So we can see each level 50 more airplanes can operate. So I think this is all. There's not really much more to say. Because uh, so far, I mean, I don't blame Dojo. So far, it's only me driving this war. I push, and uh, there was no attempt so far from Dojo to make, a to make any real, real counter strike. It's maybe too early. It's only gen mid of January 42. Maybe in April, maybe in April Dojo will uh, have enough forces together to surprise me, maybe faster. But normally we will see first his submarines to show off, to see that he, maybe he will try to sneak his submarines here near to Japan to intercept my cargo. Uh, lines, maybe, but you can see here with uh, button 6, these are all submarine hunters. All the yellow hexes, and the green hexes means more or less there is a waypoint, and the yellow hexes means uh, there is a submarine hunter at least uh, every three days passing this hex. And uh, you can see I completely more or less Hong Kong, Taiwan, all this area of Shanghai, 
the area south of the, or east of Japan I cover because a lot of traffic uh, is going this way and also to a lot of supplies must go from Japan to Hong Kong and Taiwan uh, this the big armies they consuming supplies and uh, you will never produce enough supplies in China to uh, that they can run on their own I already increase uh, the heavy industry in some big cities of China so in the future maybe in two three months we're producing more supplies in China directly so I don't must send more so many cargo ships to China but uh, so far it's not enough and uh, we have the supplies I and if the forces in China need supplies then of course I will ship the supplies and uh, we are lucky that we kill a lot of sub submarines at the beginning of the war in Manila and uh, also Dojo don't uh, so far looks like uh, Dojo don't uh, use his submarines over aggressive maybe some other guys and the, the, the AI normally will send immediately submarines in this area to intercept cargo shipping from the Japanese most of this uh, American submarines have the Mark 14 and they normally first yeah, they first can operate in 43 successful now they have maybe only 25% uh, hit I mean hit and explosion chance first they must hit this is the first calculation okay and if they hit there's only a chance of 25% that the torpedo will go off and trigger the explosion this is a very chance or a very small chance of a success for his submarine but if he want he can maybe try it the other big problem is the Japanese uh, submarine hunters they are very weak they can normally only sink enemy submarines in shallow waters deep water it is nearly impossible for Japanese to attack and sink submarines in deep water. We will get in, I think in April, the new submarine hunter equipment. Then we can also attack a, a deep water. Uh, but even if you cannot sink the submarine, can keep the submarine busy. And uh, sometimes you are lucky and maybe make a hit. Uh, yeah, and this is also the reason why I really keep the submarine hunters uh, from day one more or less active. I yes, they consume fuel, but it's not so much. And uh, I better invest some fuel and not losing any really important cargo stuff. Okay. Yeah. But I really don't have much more to say. There was nothing really important. Yeah, maybe the industry, the engines. Yeah, we're still ramping up our engine production. We have now 234 H35 engines, so every turn we can get 10 or 20 more. We still try to reach the 500. Uh, I increase some A and D stuff. I invest a lot of uh, supplies and heavy industry points to get a bigger, greater A and D labs or facilities. But it's still not final. I will still improve this. Uh, but also nothing happened here. I think maybe the engine Yeah, here you can see now the, This is the engine and the H60 normally will uh, Be ready in October 42 But our and department already finished 94% 
So there's every turn the chance that you get some percentage number to reach your 100 percent and in the moment you reach the 100 percent there is this uh, chance not automatically but there's a chance that the AND will be successful means the AND will go back to zero percent you start again from one with zero percent but the number will be here one month earlier so it will not be October 42 if this is successful then it will uh, drop to September 42 so maybe next turn or next next turn we can see here a September 42 uh, this but this is only the engine the next question is uh, which airplane needs this engine and the main the number one airplane needs this engine is normally and the airplane what is really coming soon is the Judy. I think the Judy is one of the first airplanes uh, using this engine you can check you touch it then you can see the Judy needs a H60 engine and the uh, Judy is coming first in April 43. So far. Of course we try to rush the uh, development. Uh, but uh, let's talk. If the engine is earlier finished, but we don't have the airframe, you need always both. You need the engine plus the airframe. If you have only the airframe, then still you cannot produce uh, the airplane. If you have only the engine, you can also not produce the complete uh, airplane. But you can already produce engines. Means if we have the engine earlier than the airframe, we can start to ramp up already the production of engines and we can try to reach the 500 engine goal to get a future bonus for everything is based on this engine so it's not wrong to push this engine to get it quicker because it means more or less we have more preparation time to produce enough engines to reach 500 so Again for this AND stuff. Yeah. Okay. And uh, maybe a one year last, very short. Uh, what is coming soon? Ship. But this is not. We are the Japanese, so we don't really get so much stuff. We can see. Well, we can turn it around. We getting one uh, aircraft cruiser, scout cruiser some sub hunters, some support and first in 21 days we get one additional submarine so you can see this is three weeks so not we in the next months the really important in the next month is the scout cruiser and the submarine all the rest is normally uh, sub hunters I have enough the problem is not how many sub hunters I have. The problem is that the sub hunters and the equipment they have is useless in deep water. So, and sub hunters can hunt submarines. If Dojo don't have any submarines near our base, what I want with all the sub hunters. So I, I keep, I think, 50% of my sub hunters are in port and waiting. They're waiting for upgrade and they're waiting that Dojo will show me some activity with his submarines. First, if I know where he have his submarines, then I will deploy my submarine hunters and then we will see. But the next 30 days we get really only one submarine and one cruiser, what is important for the Navy. Yeah, and then we get, a, then we get here a bunch of submarines. So, but this is 45 days, okay. so this is so far away. And then maybe one little destroyer here and first in 70 days we get really some big stuff the carrier and the landing ship 
but this uh, we try to push for the carrier so maybe we will lower this days but I think 60 days at least we must wait two months we must still wait good this is for the ships airplanes is nothing nothing really coming and also infantry units is not really much coming I think uh, wait Withdraw reinforcements here, uh, and we can see here. Uh, yeah, we get a little. Yeah, uh, we get a little infantry stuff here in seventeen days. For so in the next months, one division. If you calculate this all together, it's maybe like in one month we get one division. And uh, these are the navy guard units. These are those uh, these guys you normally use for island hopping, a really amphibious assault against the enemy. Is uh, uh, have some defense, but it's not crazy strong. Okay, I think this is really enough. If you have any questions, if you want to see something, uh, then uh, let me know. Maybe the most successful air unit. Some guys maybe want to see this. I think this is my most successful fighter unit. You can see we get four airplanes in maintenance, but uh, we lost no airplane last turn here. And uh, if you see the numbers, these are lost airplanes. So three operational lost, four written off means they get damaged, but we cannot repair them more. And eight airplanes killed in air-to-air -air battle. So this whole unit lost so far 12, 15 airplanes. 15 airplanes are lost. And we lost uh, some pilots, four killed. One is wounded, I think, and one wounded is uh, maybe, I don't know what is, uh, I think the, this is killed. I don't know why, why here is the second number. This is killed, that is dead, that cannot come back. But here it means one is wounded and still wounded, and I think one wounded is coming back already. Uh, and here is one miss, one guy is missing, but no missing guy is coming back. So I think this is what is so far lost or not in use at least we can say we lost five pilots and one guy gets hurt but is back and one guy is still hurt okay this is the, what we lost and then we can see this unit the squadron had up to now 63 kills of course we only can say we kill 63 airplanes we don't know killed or pilot, but we know 63 airplanes are damaged or destroyed. And uh, if we order this uh, for numbers, then we can see here a lot of... Normally you can now count this up and if this number is really 63, it is hard to say. I... Hard uh, to say. And this guy, I think is a, uh, I don't know, he's coming first in six days. Maybe this is a wounded guy because he has a delay of six days. So he's gray out because no other is in delay. Okay, this is the most successful squadron and uh, the others are normally not so crazy i mean okay these guys are only 18 airplanes but they also have 43 kills already the total number is not so high but uh, they are 45 so they have more than double the numbers but they don't have double the kills but of course you can only get a kill if you find something to kill I mean, there was a reason why the German fighter pilots, they had easily 100 kills in the eastern, uh, east front. Because the Russians, they outclassed the German Air Force 
uh, one to five or one to ten. So one fight German fighter pilot can find a lot of enemy airplanes to shut down. Uh, now I have really the problem there is not more much to kill. Uh, but they are, I mean, this is a problem for my fighter pilots because they are eager to kill something. But the, for the course of war, it is uh, not bad if we control the air. And uh, we do this already in this Dutch area. So I also will. Oh, I need to finish this. We strike last time, now I make one training day. I let them train because training will also reduce the fatigue normally because we have 60 pilots and only 45 airplanes. So some pilots are always re relaxing and getting the fatigue down. And uh, maybe then next turn or next next turn we can make a sweep again. We have still time. We are still fighting over for Singapore. We are not fighting for Java so we can my main goal is only get rid of all his air forces before we start any real operation here. Okay. Now this is really enough. Let's finish this. I hope uh, you learned something and you had some fun. Let's see how successful our carrier f strike will be near the Fidgies. The first carrier group. This will be the big and also Clarkfield. These are the next two big uh, engagements. If our carrier can find something and if we can win Clarkfield. And third big battle, uh, the dogfight and the air battle of Rangoon, Burma area. Thank you all. See you. Bye bye.